the free bets with bookmakers.com handicap is next and uh, this is a 0 to 90 hurdle and it's over two miles there's about four runners, i think and they need a trump at the top for alex cherry alpine wind for obi-wan el dorado padraig hogan and irena bay for alex cherry so four horses from three trainers and away we go alpine wind is the first to show from Irina Bay in second, and Nina Trump is in third, and then El Dorado is in fourth, and already pretty well strung out as Alpine Wind doesn't appear to be hanging about. Irina Bay has gone with it, and there's a gap of two lengths back to Nina Trump, and then a gap of about six already to El Dorado. So, well strung out after just one flight, and Alpine Wind. Is setting the pace. Needs my good three. And Irina Bay in second. Then Nina Trump in third. And El Dorado is so far behind he's out of shot. So you wouldn't have thought you'd have had a four runner race. Well, you couldn't get them all four in shot, would you? But it's what we've got as we go away to the third of the nine flights. And the isn't got a pump back to El Dorado, so we'll just have to guess where that one is as they race downhill. Alpine Wind in the lead, Irina Bay second, and Nina Trump third. And this time we're going to get back and see a bit of El Dorado getting there with the fence. So past the big screen, past the stand, and one more circuit of the track to go. This is about the third really low grade hurdle we've had this season that's had about two or three runners in it so the Honda chases were a great success a few years ago when they were brought in but the weight seemed to have crept up over the years we get a lot of 180 170 rated chases and not that many rated in the hundreds it's difficult to gauge it of course especially with the small fields but as I was looking back with the night through past seasons and the 0 to 100 hunters were attracting 15 runners a couple of seasons ago. Well, I think the reason they're not attracting them now is that the horses just can't qualify for them because they're rated too highly because the horses are finishing close up in decent handicaps because there's so few runners. Now that's why the issue is coming from there and the same with the with the hurdlers really. You've only got to have one good run in a handicap where you finish close up and your handicap rating is going to go up understandably and it takes a while to go back down again and it's Alpine Wind in the lead now about to be pressed by Nanina Trump and Irina Bay is back in third and El Dorado has never really got into it at all as they race down towards the final two flights of the final three furlongs and Nanina Trump has gone on Alpine Wind is in second Irina Bay is back in third and El Dorado is goodness knows where uh, coming down towards the second last then race on between these three as Nanina Trump is now being chased by stable mate Irina Bay. Alpine Wind looks to have given up the ghost in third. El Dorado's a mile away in fourth and they get over the final flight. It's an Alex Cherry win on the cards here. Nanina Trump should be the one that takes it and does for Irene Bay second. Alpine Wind third and El Dorado will eventually be fourth. There you go. So one two for Alex Cherry. Just see how far behind El Dorado was. They're just jumping the last as they were coming up to finish. So, Nanina Trump for Alex Cherry, the winner. Irina by Alex Cherry, second. Alpine Window, be one third. And El Dorado, Padre Hogan, fourth.